Welcome everybody to episode nine. Nine. Fancy scarecrow. Oh my god. Again. Which was Kevin Shatito. Nadia, this is your birthday weekend. Nadia is turning 36 years old. Can you believe it? <laughs> Today we are going to make Turkish flour helva. With Nadia! Yeah, yeah. Your favorite is the sun? Yes, my favorite. Sorry, Kenny. <laughs> but do you know what, Chef Azan? This is war. I call you to battle. <laughs> I call you to battle. <laughs> Our beloved gossip section. Yay! <laughs> the dress was none other than Prada and it cost 46 thousand lira. Have a good one. <laughs> no! <laughs> Welcome everybody to episode nine, nine. of What's Up Turkey. Yes. The last one before the big one. Oh, boo, 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 Yes, it's very exciting. Very exciting. Uh, yeah, and I, have, I think we have a really good episode. We do have a good episode today. We've got some really exciting news going on today. Yep. Nadia, why don't you start us off? All right. It's another episode, another controversy regarding the one and only Fancy Scarecrow. Oh my god. Again, it's because they didn't hire me. Anyways, uh, so get this, Alina Boz left the show. Yes, Because it's, it's, it's a horror show. <laughs> That's why. Uh, the transition between TV to digital didn't work for her. So she decided to leave and they're still not sure about where they're going to show the show. So now we have another actress that joined in, Esra Bilgic. We don't know if she's taking Alina's role or she's joining as a different role. We know there's a love triangle happening, so maybe she's one of the ladies. Uh, but yeah, I'm um, reporting this with much happiness. <laughs> yes, child and Freud. Yes. It should be an edit. Well, if, 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 if the female leads keep dropping out, then your chances... Eventually, eventually one by one, you. once they all end and there's no other option, I can step in. You can step in <laughs> and finally resurrect this project. Yes. God, it's taken a long time. Um, projects that have been made. Yes. Big movie release. Yes. Last Friday, Bergen. Yes. For any lover of Turkish music, of Arabesque music, they will know who Bergen was, a massive star of the 80s. Um, and she led quite the tragic and storied life. I know, it's unbelievable. Whew. unbelievable. So she's played by Farah uh, Zeynep Abdullah. Yeah. Um, and she plays Bergen, who left the PTT, that is the Turkish post office, yeah. when she was 17, to pursue her career in music. Yeah. And then Bergen's husband got a little bit, we have to assume, jealous. I don't know what his motivations are. There are no sure. motivations. There's it. nothing. Doesn't make any nothing sense. Nothing justifies. He threw nitric acid on yeah. Bergen's face and disfigured her eye, which she then covered with hair, which became her distinctive look, which might be what people uh, know her from. Yeah. She recovered. He went to jail. She had this huge music career. And then when she was 31 and on tour, her husband was, for some reason, released from prison. And then he went... Um, uh, he sort of ran interference on her tour, yeah. shot her six times, yeah. and she tragically, at the age of 31, died, and Turkiye lost one of its brightest stars. I know, it's absolutely tragic. Yeah. It's, I, I feel like in the old times, they always died young and tragically, all the celebrities. Their lives were like just crazier. Uh, yeah, I um, just, yeah, things, I mean, things are great now. Things just, are so much yeah, better. If you don't look at the news, things are great <laughs> now. Yeah, but it's insane with this movie. A lot of controversy happened. Um, the movie wasn't even allowed to show in Adana, where it was um, the city of the killer husband. Um, when asked for the people that didn't let it show, they said it was because it had too much violence in it. Yes. Uh, however, the movie did score 713,000 views in just three days, making it the most successful and the most watched uh, movie of its genre. Mm. I'm yeah. not surprised. I it mean, broke records. She was a huge artist. It's, as we just said, a crazy story. Yeah, and it's insane controversy around it. Insane controversy around yeah. it. But she does a great job. Farah, she does all the singing herself, yeah. which apparently some people weren't happy about, but I don't know Some what people were not happy. Do. Some uh, critics said that it should have <sighs> been Bergen's voice. You can't please some people, can you? And it would look silly, Farah, like lip syncing to Bergen. I guess, yeah, I, I agree with that. Well, and the, the viewers don't seem to mind because it's been... It's broken records. It's been broken records yeah. all over the place. Bergen, go see it. So, another news, yes. uh, Nezihan Atagul, one of the many friends of the show, yes. uh, she's been working on the adaptation of the novel we mentioned at, it. at the end of the night, we mentioned it last week. Good news for her, well maybe, hopefully, who knows. I think it is. Probably. Probably. Um, her hubby. Hubby hubby. Hubby hubby hubby, uh, Kadir Dol, yes. showed up on set, 
he's going to be working in the production team now, which is nice because they met in 2013. Yeah, on the I set remember of, that uh, show. Fatih Habie, and uh, that, they got married three years later. Yeah. So whatever happens when those two are on set, the fireworks, they be exploding. I got excited, actually, when I first thought. I thought he was going to be acting with her. I thought, ah, they're going to get like, like all the views, but he decided to be behind the screen. Which is, I don't know, let's see. I don't know. I don't know, I feel like we're doing like couples My spidey senses of... are tingling with the, <laughs> we may see him come up onto the screen. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's a lie. Maybe he is actually gonna be with her and they're trying to hide it, who knows? Interesting choice though, because, you know, working with your, working with your significant other can be- Challenging. Can be challenging. Yeah. Obviously for them it seems to work because it worked in the past. We have well, so many news and breakups constantly for them. that hopefully this will not be one of them. <laughs> Keep it tight, guys. Don't get into each other's business. Don't give a criticism on online. Oh, please, uh, don't take it from Kenny. Like, he knows anything. Anyways, I don't know anything. <laughs> he doesn't know anything. He has no relationship advice to give to anybody. <laughs> Another union that I want to mention. Mm -hmm. So, last episode, we talked about Kivanch having a new project, Kivanch which was Kivanch Tatli Took. Gotcha. And we said that he is shooting a new show called If It Concludes. Mm -hmm. There was speculation about Biran being his co-star at the time, but that was wrong. Biran is going to be his co-star, but for another show. Ooh. It's a show movie we don't know, and it's going to be filmed in New York, and they're going to be reuniting after 14 years from filming Ashke Mamno. Yes, it's very exciting. That is exciting. That is exciting. We'll keep you updated if we hear anything about the plot, anything about what are they going to be? Are they going to be a couple? Are they going to be enemies? I don't know. Who knows? We'll are see. they going to have some forbidden love in the Big Apple? No, that would be like, they have to make a difference. That's true. And be original. Yeah. You're a writer. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. Um, on to something that's already really big. Yeah. Uh, midnight at the Para Palace. Huge. Massive. Huge. Huge. Everywhere. You'll have seen it absolutely everywhere. Billboards yeah. the size of whole skyscrapers about this thing. And it's not just in Turkey where it's been big. Worldwide on Netflix yeah. in the top 20, mm. and in 25 countries it's in the top 10. That's amazing. And this is just the initial. Yeah, it's they're only just still, started. Yeah, there's still going to be more. According to The Hollywood Insider, they predict it's going to be the next big thing on Netflix. Yeah. Um, and it's no surprise considering the scale of the operation, 3,000 square meters when it comes to uh, lot size. Yeah. Uh, 4,000 suits have been made. Yeah. Um, there was another really cool stat, 700 <laughs> plus crew working on it, 700. Obviously, yeah. I've seen some scenes and people have been commenting and posting about this one scene where she meets Ataturk and she gets to hug him. Mm. And Turkish people really, really related to that. Some of them even cried and they said she's made it so real that it kind of conveyed their emotions of how they would feel if they had met him. Mm. So I thought that was really beautiful. And I watched this scene, I thought it was really, really nice. Interessant. So Interessant. I was actually planning um, to watch uh, Midnight the Para Palace this weekend. Oh, maybe we can watch it together. I fall in this trap every time. <laughs> I will be watching it not alone. But I not know with not you. alone. <laughs> <laughs> Just not with me. <laughs> yeah, not with you. All right, whatever. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Nadia, this is your birthday weekend. You've got other things to be doing. Yeah, that's true. Nadia is turning 36 years old. Can you believe it? <laughs> Looking as young as ever at <laughs> 36. Actually, I lied. I'm going to be 45. 45? <laughs> 45. And look, what a youthful 45. It's all fake. Look at the dress, the hair, the legs. Oh, that reminds me. I've got some frozen, <laughs> Don't you I've got some dare. frozen, I've got some frozen chicken in the Don't freezer. You I forgot dare. about that. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on <laughs> urgently. <laughs> um, so speaking of frozen food, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's time to go to um, my erstwhile friend, Chef Ozan. Um, Nadia, what's the Really, what's friend going on is like, it doesn't fit. You shouldn't say friend. Well, that's why I said He's my friend. That's why I said erstwhile. Mm. Just to mean this friendship may have run its course. I confirm. Confirm? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is Chef Hassan done with you? <laughs> Anyways, we've made something very delicious, very sweet for you. So let's watch it together. Here is... Chef Hassan. Hello, everyone. Today we are going to make Turkish flour helva with beautiful... Nadia! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your favorite is Istan? Yes, my favorite. Sorry, Kenny. 
whatever. Never, <laughs> never apologize to Kenny. <laughs> well, we have three common types of helva in our cuisine. One of them is semolina helva, mm -hmm. tahini helva, and flour helva. But this one has a special place in our hearts because we only make this one in our special days. Uh, for example, Eid yeah. and special days, celebrations, yeah. happiness we would like to share. We make this helva or ah. the sadness we would like to share. Yeah, so, so this okay. is uh, has a very important like a meaning, meaning for, like yeah. a deep meaning. Yeah, oh, I love it. Let's see, semolina helva is my favorite. So let's see if this one's going to compete. Have you ever tried this one before? No, I never tried oh, this before. Oh, this might be your first time. Yeah. I'm sure you're gonna like it. We That's only perfect. have uh, four fundamental ingredients in this one. Yeah. So everyone can find in their pantries at home. Yes, this is very simple. sugar, milk or water, mm -hmm. and definitely butter. It's so easy. It is, it is. Uh, the tip is here is the ratio of the butter. Mm. If you use too much butter, then it becomes very oily. Mm. If you use less butter, then you get you don't get the uh, texture, is texture it too hard? and the flavor mm. you need. Yeah. So, we will have a very simple sugar syrup. It's not going to be a sugar syrup actually, but it's going to be, we're just going to dissolve the sugar and the, melt that's everything. It. That's okay. It. So let's pour it down here. And of course, sugar. That's it. Let's mm. heat this one until the sugar gets dissolved. Is there a difference in taste if you use water instead of milk? Well, you can use water, but I prefer milk because it gives the creamy texture. Like a richness. Taste. Yeah, it's better. True. Let's get this dissolved. Do you keep stirring or do you let it do? You don't have taste? to stir all the time. Mm. Just let it dissolve it. And let's start with this. Butter goes in. I leave this butter because I'm going to roast the walnuts the over walnuts. there. Nice. Yeah. Let me butter melt down. Um, instead of walnuts, can you use any other kind of nuts? Yeah, you can. What about you... dried fruit? Because uh, I don't know what's the outcome. I never tried dried fruit, but you can use it. Raisins? Because this is already sweet, so you are adding something sweeter. So mm. it's going to be like too much sweet for mm. you. You want it like... Yeah. <laughs> so this so has you... the same texture as the simolina halwa? No, this no. is completely different. Ooh, You'll see it. I'm really, really excited to try You'll it. You'll see it. Now, my <laughs> butter is melted. Yeah. I'm adding a little bit of vegetable oil to stop the butter burning. Mm. You can use this with any kind of recipe that requires butter to stop it from burning. You can just add oil. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it helps a lot. Then I add all the flour. Then we're gonna toast this until it turns the golden brown. Mm. Yes. Yeah, the sugar started to melt. Mm -hmm. I don't feel it. Then I'm gonna let it cool down. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This will be hot, this will be cold. Oh, really? Otherwise, when we mix them together, there will be lumps inside. Oh. But you have to constantly stir because you don't yes, want your flour definitely. to burn. Definitely. You have to continuously stir it, otherwise, it will get burned. Hmm. This is the hardest part, actually. It takes the longest time. Yeah. Well, I think that the sugar is fully melted. So. Is it? Yeah. I'm okay. I'm sure. No, I trust you. Okay, I take it out of the heat. Yes, please. Okay. It needs to cool down. If you get tired of stirring this, you can just take it out of the heat and stir in slow motion. In slow motion, so it yeah. doesn't burn and you get the time. Yes, exactly. Now you see the color? Yeah. It's changing. It's darker. Yeah, it's Even darker. Even the smell is different. Yes, it, it's getting the nutty flavor now. It is, really. It's kind of mm -hmm. caramelish. But smell. we have to continue to stir it, otherwise it's going to get burned. Yeah. So we will, we will roast it a little bit more because when we add the milk mixture, the color will be lighter. So we and just want a little bit. You want to keep the color? Yes. And can you use like lactose-free milk or yeah, something? Yeah, we can use it to make yeah. it lactose-free. Mm. We can make it vegan actually, mm. to use the vegan butter. The vegan butter, uh -huh. yeah. And you can switch the milk fully with... Can you use nut milk? Yeah, why not? Yeah? yeah it could be better. Oh, wow. Ooh, you can use like almond milk. Mm -hmm. Talk about more flavor. Yeah, that's expensive. really good. This is cheaper this way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we try to keep it on a budget here. <laughs> it looks really nice. Texture is grainy. Okay, we can have the meat now. Okay, I'll get it. Now, this is the risky part. Because this pan is very, very hot. Yeah. So we're going to add the milk and it's going to be bubbling. Ooh. So you need to be careful. No, wait. I'm just going to leave this here. I have this one. Get it ready? Yeah. You see? Ooh. Faster. Ah! 
Be careful with this team. Oh, it's getting thicker yes, and thicker. Let's get all the way. It's gonna be better like this. You see, yes. it's getting thicker. You have to really like. Yes. Go all hands. Now it's having the texture kind of yes. like the other one. I'm gonna change it to spatula. Thank you. Now we're gonna cook it a little bit more. Is it time for the nuts to get toasted? Yes, exactly. Okay. This is done. Okay. So I'm just taking out of the heat. Let's keep it here I'll use for a while. Same one. And let's toast the walnuts. A little bit butter. Yep. While we are toasting the walnuts, I will just place the flour halva. I'm just gonna have one spoon. Oh. So I leave it here. I'm just shaping with two spoons like this, mm -hmm. but you can just place it in a large size of a plate. Then you can cut it. Yeah. That's like the traditional shape. You just put it in like no, a No, the traditional bowl? shape is with this spoon one. Like this? Uh-huh. Ah. Yes. yes! They look so good, we did it! Yeah, thank you! Teamwork! They look really good, they smell really good. Yeah, two different looking types of flower halva. Flower halva, I can't believe it's flower halva. I can't believe how easy it was to make it. Take a little bit of time, but I think it's worth it. I'm ready. Yeah, you had never tried it, try one. Yes, I never tried it. I'm gonna... Boop! Now it's looking like an animal. No, <laughs> come on. I'm gonna try one too. Mmm! This is so nice. Texture mm -hmm. is so good. It's so soft. Naughty, it's buttery. The flavor is insane. Mm -hmm. It's a like caramelly flavor. Nutty. It's amazing. I love it. When it gets colder, it tastes better. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. It's amazing. I love it. I hope you enjoy it. See you next week. I hope you guys liked our recipe, our delicious flower halva. I didn't even know you can do that and it was really, really yummy. Kenny, do you like flower halva? I used to. <laughs> Kenny, are you okay? <laughs> Kenny? I never thought this was gonna come to How did you never think this was gonna come? I actually worked hard. I. I, I put effort. Every morning I sent a single rose to <laughs> Chef Arto. Every single morning for nothing. Do you know how much that cost me? They are very expensive, I'm not going to lie. They're so expensive. <laughs> but do you know what Chef Arto said? This is war. Oh, are you Enough sure? now. Are you sure? Yeah. Kenny. I don't care if I die. Death or freedom. <laughs> One or the other. Chef Arto. I call you to battle. <laughs> I call you to battle. Me and you. We have a cook-off. <laughs> me and you. Oh my gosh. Can Me I be the you. judge of this? I don't want your affection anymore. No, you're biased. No, I'm actually very not. I can be a seller. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I trust your seller. I have no okay. loyalty. <laughs> Nada, you, you, can, you can be the judge. Okay. Me and Chef Ozan, we're going to have a cook-off. I love it. I am, I am deeply hurt. I am very angry. But now it's been turned into a steely resolve. Okay. Chef Ozan, me and you. It's anyway. done. We'll have a cook-off. And he... And both will try, but most probably he will win. Mm. You're going down, Chef Ozan. I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't. He, he like leaving his limousine. I asked him, like, do you have a limousine today? <laughs> he said no. Chef Ozan. Oh, he's not matching my happiness. Anyways, <sighs> uh, moving on to our beloved gossip section. Yay! <laughs> That's how you get me back in the mood again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about Chef Ozan. Give me the goss. Give me the goss. Give me the goss. So... It, 
it's another again the met of Zemir. We her life is looking amazing. I'm not trying to give her any nazar, as I say, uh, but she just celebrated her birthday last week, and it was something. It was a very lavish celebration. Always. She had the most amazing location, and everybody was talking about the dress. The dress was none other than Prada, and it cost. I want to say another word for whooping. Not whooping. Not whooping. Astonishing. A, a toe curling. Toe curling. Toe curling. Toe, toe curling. Yeah. A toe curling 46,000 lira. Yes, paired with the, the most beautiful shoes that are cost 5,000 lira. Yeah, that's one heck of an outfit, I'll tell you. Well, Could happy birthday, the... damn it. I've got some nice news for you. Ah. I've got some really nice news here. We're big fans of Kulubu here, yes. the club. Yeah. It's um, our favorite. Made it all the way through both seasons recently. Really, really enjoyed it. One of yeah. my favorites. I uh, love the everything about it. Really yeah. Well. And one of the stars of it. The um, one and only. The one and only. Gokshe Bahandi. <laughs> Gokshe Bahandi. She got married Aww. to her musician, yeah. husband, Emir Orsoy, yeah. that you might have heard of too. Uh, they met when they worked on a song together. The wedding, very, how should we say, modest mm. compared to what we normally go through, where I it's know. like Rolls Royces and I all know, this it's like private. Just 60 guests, um, amazing dress, black ribbon gloves, <laughs> looking amazing. Um, do you know who was there? One of the guests. Who? Kenan Dol. It was Ooh. one of the witnesses, which you know what that means. Berana? Beren <laughs> also in attendance. But actually, I feel a bit bad for Gokche Bahadir that we're, we're talking about her guests as much as we're talking about her. Happy, no, wedding. happy, 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 happy wedding. wedding. Have a great Please um, don't. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to jinx anything. No, I'm jinxed no, too many. Tenny, no, I'm not she gonna, just okay. got married. Okay. Please okay. keep okay. it there. I will, just say, I will just say that in news, Gokche Bahadir and Emir Ersoy got married. Neutral, don't give anything. All right. Okay, we're good. I'm going to pass it. And no so jinxing. he doesn't pass like any of his negativity there. No jinxing. Yeah, yeah. Have uh, a good wedding. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> On to events. Yes, events. Events. Got something completely different. Yeah. One that's been on a roadshow, 16 countries around the world. Now it's finally, boom, here at the Sheraton Hotel. I'm very in excited Istanbul. about Istanbul. This. this is um, an... Any other Chef Ozan haters out there, like me, <laughs> should make sure they go to this. It's a virtual, um, I don't know how you describe it, cooking experience? Yeah, basically. Like, you don't cook yourself. You just sit and it's like a show in front of you. Yeah. It's a 3D show of Le Petit Chef. And it's a tiny chef. And he, like, literally prepares the meal for you. Yeah. And yeah. it's called How to Become the World's Greatest Chef. I know, it's really cute. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to become the world's greatest chef. I don't think chef, you can. And then I'm going to flush <laughs> Chef Arzan down oh. the culinary toilet. <laughs> yeah, it's really amazing. It's like a 3D animation. It's in the, you see where your food came from. You see him oh, like no. taking out I'm there. I'm not sure I want to see where my food comes from. In a nice way, in an okay. animation way, not like a bloody way. <laughs> it's just animation like of a cow in an epitome. <laughs> No, it's really nice. Um, it's in Sheraton. Sheraton, yeah. Yeah, it's Sheraton Hotel. But it's very... Um, very fancy. Expensive. Very expensive. <laughs> it's, very, it's a elective group yeah. of people. Make sure once you've learned how to cook that you go home and you, and you cook and you, rather yeah. than buying a meal there. Yeah. That, it's really nice. I would love to go. I don't know, somehow. Uh, let's see if there's somebody that knows somebody that can get us in there. Or we can sneak from the back, watch the show and leave. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting and it's been everywhere. I so. think I might just hijack Chef Ozan's helicopter. And, <laughs> and land at the top land. of the Sheraton. <laughs> Go down from the fire escape. Imagine if we got there. Imagine if we, we find some, was some there. miracle we got there. We sat down to watch the animation and Chef Ozan was the curating chef. <laughs> He's a tiny chef. Tiny chef. <laughs> little, uh, pick him up and go, how dare you choose Nadia over me now. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so salty. Um, I'm, I'm bitter. Uh, we wanted to include a music piece, uh, the concert by Tom Odell. He's coming to Istanbul on June 1st uh, at Küçük Şeflik Park. And I'm really excited. I will definitely go. I think he's an amazing singer. He rose to fame by his song Another Love. 
And yeah. Fellow countryman of mine, no? Yeah, he's an Englishman. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited. Hopefully, we get to go and we will report back for you. That's nice. It's yeah. one of my favorite venues in uh, in the Bull. Yeah, I've been to Kochik Shaftek a lot. Me too. Although the first time I went there, I got rained on real hard at a Beirut concert. The band Beirut, of course, not the city. Why would you go in the winter? Um, no, it was in the summer. Oh, just, just one of those damn. summer downpours. And it's I just got one of those Kenny drenched. Luck moments. Yeah. 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 All right, it's time. The time has come. The time is here for... Idioms for an idiot. <laughs> and that idiot is... <laughs> <laughs> you did it better than I do. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's not take it too far. Okay. All right, Kenny. I'm very confident. We're <laughs> two all. That's a hard one for me too. Scores on the doors in case you've forgotten two all. Geçte burun pazarı sur işine nidi. Okay, it translates to the boar pazar is over. Take your donkey to nidi. Oh, this is easy. <laughs> Um, I don't know, there's two, there's the two halves, right? So like the, the ball thing is over, that would be like the horses have bolted, like it's finished, it's over, it's gone, forget about it. Mm -hmm. Or it's too late. If you want to fix it now, it's too late. Mm -hmm. But the donkey thing, mm -hmm. and to need it, yeah. it's so specific. What does that mean? Maybe it changes the whole meaning. It sounds very old. I'm going to guess that it means something like... Five! <laughs> I'm going to say, oh. well, obviously something, something has passed. So I'm going to go with the kind of horses have bolted idea. Like, uh, it's too late. Go take your idea somewhere else where there might be... Um, I hate yeah. you. <laughs> so it just means something. It's too late. <laughs> oh, you're going to give me a crap. Three, two. Three, two, leave. I'm crying again. Just so people know. How oh, did you get this? Before I had to dig like the deepest, deepest part. I I went to page three of Google. That oh my god, happened. page three. <laughs> Before we went oh on air, god. she was like, you're never ever gonna get this. I literally was so sure. I was like, you'll never get this. In fairness, is that although it's a you know, I say it's, it's an arcane, hard. It's an the arcane name idiom of the because place it's is. because it's so wordy and it's so specific. But really the idea is quite simple. Nah. The thing's over, go take your Next th time. I will get it. Actually, back. no, you're I right, it is hard and it would only take it's a hard. genius to work it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. So that was idiom by an idiot. <laughs> to a genius. <laughs> <laughs> you really, really waited for that one. <laughs> uh, that just, honestly, it just came to me. It just came to me right now. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm going to dedicate my life <laughs> to finding <laughs> the hardest thing for you. But we will see that on the next episode. Anyways, thank you so much for watching episode 9. I hope you enjoyed it. We will see you for episode 10. I am so excited. Oh my god, don't remember. Oh, don't remember. Don't remember. Yes, remember. <laughs> don't forget. Yes. Like. Subscribe. Subscribe. Comment with comment. idioms. Help Nadia yes. out. She's too... I have to beat him. I have to, and I need your help to do so. And yeah. We'll remember see what you. Nadia finds difficult. Is what everyone else finds easy. <laughs> so you need to you need to furnish us with a really good idiom. Otherwise, Nadia, have a great birthday Thank weekend. Thank you so much. Enjoy your forties, best years of your life. <laughs> Thank we'll you guys. See you, see you again when I'm fifty. <laughs> see you in the next episode. Bye.